Hello mga kapamilya, kapatid at kapugso. Ito po muli si Milik Daily Inspiration po to inspire you once again with the Word of God. And I know that God will be exalted through His Word. Ay ma, tayo po ay ma-inspire po ng Word ng Panginoon this day. At ito po ang ating pong mga kalakasan po natin, natin spiritually. And we thank God for this privilege that we can hear again what His Word and this morning, I just want to share about the fragrance of worship. So, ito, ano ba tong fragrance of worship? E, Doon po sa Luke chapter 7 verse 36. So, makikita po natin ang Luke chapter 7 verse 50. So, magbabasa po natin doon ang story po ng isang babae po na kung saan po ay uh, talagang ibinigay niya ang kanya po worship sa Panginoon. So, makikita po natin that prayer focuses on the problem. Praise focuses on the provision. And worship focuses on the provider. Worship is the correct response. The correct response of the presence of God. Ito yung pong pinaka response natin sa presence po ng Panginoon. At ang essence ng lesson po natin this morning is worship is a flow and a dialogue between you and the Savior. Your Savior. It means that it is, this is the entry, the entry into your life and into your church as we worship the Lord. So, worship is not a program. Hindi po ito program. Worship is not a plan or a performance. Uh, ito po ay, uh, worship is not a given set of style or just uh, a style of music. Di po ba ang dami nating mga styles eh? Dami po nating kapamaraanan on how to worship the Lord. But true worship is not is not like a style, but it is it is a worship of a true and genuine believers of the Lord. So worship is a heartfelt response to the Savior. Ito yung heartfelt response po natin sa Savior po natin. Heartfelt response to a Savior who has healed us, who has delivered us, and na kung saan po ay, who has forgiven us. Amen? So, ang worship is the correct response of the presence of God. Paano po tayo mag-response sa presence ng Panginoon? So, do we believe that the presence of God is here? Amen? So, the degree to which we believe, yet po ang determine the depths of our worship to God. So kung tayo po naniniwala that God is here, that God's presence is here, and that will determine our worship, the depths of our worship sa ating Panginoon. So there are absolutely no limits to the church that will worship. Wala pong limitasyon sa isang church who will worship God in spirit and in truth. And the presence of God is there. So as we look this morning, na kung saan po isa po itong... Uh, Story, sa isa pong babae, inspired story of uh, isa pong babae na kung saan po ay siya pina, pinatawad ang ating pong Panginoon. And we see the most beautiful and awe-inspiring pictures of a true worship that mankind has been afforded. So makita po natin dito ang tunay na worship sa ating pong Panginoon. So ang kanya pong worship did not revolve around a particular style or of music, or a performance of any kind. Ang kanyang worship, she was, uh, nandun po na makita natin na siya po ay talagang makikita mo yung true worship sa kanya. Siya po ay isang disqualified by every social convention of her day kasi po siya nga po ay sinful na woman. But, when her day, sa kanyang paglapit sa Panginoon into the presence of God, even though that she was a sinful woman in the sight of God, in the sight of the people. At nandun po, ni kanya pong nirist ang kanya pong life to come to Jesus at the feet of Jesus. At nandun po with her gift and heartfelt love of the Lord. So, are we willing to rest in order to come to the feet of Jesus? 
Minsan po nahihiya pa tayo mag-worship sa Panginoon eh. Minsan po nahihiya pa tayo itaas yung ating kamay sa Panginoon to worship God. Or even in giving our testimony, minsan nahihiya po tayo. But that is a kind of worship sa Panginoon. So there is no sub substitute for time at the feet of the Savior. So ang corporate worship po is very important sa, isang, sa body ng ating pong Panginoon. But it is pointless and empty apart from lifestyles of worship living in the members of the body. So we can have this corporate worship. But each one of us, kapag tayo nag-worship sa Panginoon, ang taus-puso pag-worship sa Lord, mas powerful, mas nai-invite natin ang presence ng Panginoon. Pwede po tayo mag-heart ng mga greatest worshiper, worship leader. We can hire musical instruments na napakagaling ng mga uh, instrumentalists and instruments. We can hire mga backup singers na magagaling. But we cannot buy worship. Hindi po natin mabibili ang worship, mga kapatid. So we cannot buy worship. It is a response of love and devotion and can no more be purchased or contrived than this affection themselves. You cannot buy worship, a true worship in the Lord. It is the heart, the heartfelt response of our love to God. The heart of worship is at the feet of Jesus, ang ating worship. And let us let us take a look on this passage po sa Bible. Makita po natin that to see what God would have us to understand sa story po na ito. And what we see here transcends all barriers, all barriers of time and social convention. So let us proceed through the passage beginning in the cast of characters. So God doesn't waste words. I believe that there are principles in, which, uh, in, in each verse that we can draw upon for our instruction in worship the Lord. So, una po pinapakita dito is the Pharisee. Si Simon was his name, ang isang Pharisee na ito. And he invited Jesus to his house for a dinner. And it seems likely that it was a politically correct thing to do. And it is implied that there may have been a more, a more motive, an attempt to test and embarrass our Lord Jesus. Ang kanyang prejudice po towards sinners, ay uh, ito po makikita po natin that ang kanyang prejudice po ng, ng, ng Pharisee nito towards sinners, towards women, ang kanyang po hypocrisy. So how do we feel towards those who would come into our midst to worship with us? What if a prostitute come to church service and began to praise and worship God with everything that was in her? Would be shocked. We would be shocked because he, she is a prostitute. And here comes ang pride po ng Pharisee nito. Ang kanya pride because nandun siya sa isang position sa kanyang napakagandang status. And let us see his presuppositions I indicate that he had no idea who was Jesus. Thank God that we know God, that he has revealed himself to us. It is what a picture Simon chooses to ignore who is Jesus. God ordained this moment to reveal himself to sinners through the actions of this worshiper who had been redeemed by the Lord. Amen? So it could well have been Simon and company's last chance to worship God. It was the cry from the Savior to extend His mercy and grace to Simon and the others. Will we ignore the moment of God? Will we ignore the moment of God? Will we join the prostitute of, at the feet of Jesus? Now, saan po ay talagang binubukos niya kanyang tears in worshiping the Lord? Jesus is calling. And let us take a look at the star of our story. Ang star po nito ay, ay yung pong babae na yon. 
is a prostitute, a woman who was considered worthless and cheap. Siya po'y worthless sa mga tao. And let us take a look at the life of this lady. Ang prostitute nito, ang kanyang pain. So a lifetime of sin na siya po'y na-abuse, ang kanyang life po ay nandun po na siya po ay prostitute throughout ang kanyang po life. So prostitution is the end product of a lifetime abuse. At nandun po na siguro siya po ay isang barren woman and no man wanted to marry he, her. Wala pong gusto pong makapag-asawa sa babae nito. Ang kanya pong predicament, siya po ay bondage, siya po ay slave, wala po siyang hope, wala siyang escape. At naroon po mga kapatid, at siya po ay talagang makikita natin, siya po ay forsaken ng community. So a prostitute was treated as the lowest of the law. Low, it was not a position to be invaded kasi siya po ay lowest of the low. Ang kanyang position, tingnan natin ang position ng babae nito, ang kanyang position po on her knees at his feet at the right moment in time broken before God. Siya po ay na broken sa Panginoon and her tears flowing over at the feet of Jesus. So the anointing was meant for the head of the honored guest and she was at his feet. Naroon po na mga kapatid, siya po ay talagang uh, he wanted that God will be pleased sa kanya pong life. And all she knew was that she must get to her Savior to thank the Lord para po magpasalamat sa Panginoon. She literally rest his life, risked his life to be there at that moment, what if he, hindi siya tatanggapin ng Panginoon? What if na siya po ay hindi tatanggapin po ng Diyos? What if she couldn't make it all the way to the presence of God? Siguro po, siya po ay stoned at that time kasi siya po ay prostitute. But tingnan po natin kanya pong dala-dala na gifts sa ating pong Panginoon. A gift that was normally given to the kings and the lords. Of lords. So ito pong mga gift na ito na dala ng babae ay ito'y binibigay lamang po sa kings and sa lords. And it was a gift for the honored guest sa isa pong banquet. A nard perfume. Isa po itong napakabangong perfume. And it was very costly. It was beautiful. At it was aromatic na talagang malalanghap po yung, yung bango ng perfume na ito. Perhaps she had been saving it it's a special occasion. It was the very fragrance of worship. Worship is often referred to, to in terms of a sweet-smelling savor in the nostrils of God. Wow, sa ating pag-worship. Isa itong savor na kung saan po ay nalalanghap ng Panginoon, naaamoy ng Diyos. Sa kanya pong pang-aamoy ang isang worship nito. On the highest and the holiest day, in all of Judaism. So the Day of Atonement, the high priest would take a perfume filled with burning censer with him into the Holy of Holies as he approached the very presence of God. Ito po yung dala-dala po, ang nard perfume. Ito po yung ginagamit ng mga pare po para po, uh, nandun po sila po ay, they would take a perfume filled with burning censer with him into the Holy of Holies and has, as he approached in the very presence of God, iti dinatala ng mga pare ang perfume na ito before going to the presence or approaching the presence of God. The sweet, smelling savor of worship is graphically pictured dito sa story na ito. So she brought something costly, ang babae nito. Dala po niya isang bagay na very costly, something precious para sa kanya. It was a rare, beautiful the gift, this was a one-shot deal, and she was placing it all on the altar of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Kaya, makita po natin mga kapatid, dinala ng babae ito sa harapan ng Diyos ang, ang uh, perfume na ito at kanya pong pinur out sa feet ni Jesus. So what gift can you bring that is costly, extravagant, and can pour out upon the feet of Jesus. 
So he was broken and spilled out for you, ang ating Panginoon. It cost him everything to save your soul, mga kapatid. Jesus was so broken and spilled out for you. It cost him everything just to save your soul. So she brought, itong babay na to, she brought something precious. What was the first century prostitute doing with some so costly, so rare, and so precious na gift? What can you bring sa ating Panginoon that is costly, precious, something that's worth sa ating buhay? In 1 Chronicles chapter 21, verse 1 to 24, sabi po ni, ni David kay, kay, uh, kay Arcona, threshing floor, there's a threshing floor. David tells that the, the, the Ar, 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 Argona, the Jebusite, sabi niya, I will not offer to the Lord a sacrifice which cost me nothing, sabi ni David. I will not offer anything that cost me nothing. Yan ang worship ni David. Do you have something to offer that is very costly that you can bring it to the altar, to the feet of Jesus? Hallelujah. Ano pong kaya ni pong dalhin sa paanan ng Panginoon to worship God? Yan po nakikita natin sa babaeng ito ang pinaka-precious na bagay sa kanya even though na siya po isa pong prostitute pero nandun po na talagang uh, hindi niya po iniisip ang mangyayari sa kanya makalapit lamang siya sa presence ni Lord dala-dala ang kanya pong pinaka-gift sa kanya pong worship sa kanya pang ninoong Heso Kristo hindi niya, hindi na niya iniisip na pwede siyang batuhin at the time pero ang nasa isip niya ang ating Panginoon to worship God Kaya po, nandun ay hindi niya inisip ang kapahamakan para lamang makalapit sa presence ni Lord. Dala-dala ang kanyang regalo sa Panginoon. Anong mga costly thing that you can offer to God? Katulad ng babae ito. At katulad ni David, sabi niya, I will not offer anything that cost me nothing. Wow! Ano pong pwede nating ihandog sa Panginoon? That is very costly, mga kapatid. And let us take a look. The provider. So the provider, his uncanny perception. He knew that alam po ng Panginoong Jesus ang past po ng babae ito and he not only received but he loved her worship even though that this lady was a prostitute, but nung siya po'y nasa paanan na ng Panginoon, ang Diyos po ay minahal niya ang worship ng babaeng ito, even though that she is a prostitute. Because the Lord knows the heart. Paano natin siya i-worship? At itong babaeng ito is an unbeliever by the time. Prostitute. Pero the way na siya worship sa Panginoon, Tamene, ang mga Pharisees, ang mga Christian, na nakita ng Diyos, anong uri ng worship ang inihandog ng babaeng ito. And we do not have to be ashamed. Our Savior has purged our conscience by His blood. Huwag po tayong mahiyang lumapit sa Panginoon. Katulad ng babae ito, hindi siya nahiya, hindi siya natakot. Dahil ang kanya po nasa kanya po, sa kanyang isipa, kaisipan is to worship Jesus at the time. Huwag tayong mahiyang lumapit sa Panginoon. Even though that we're a sinner before God, we can come into the presence of God to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Ayon po doon sa Herbis chapter 9 verse 14, How much more shall the blood of Christ who throw, uh, who threw the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God, purge your conscience from dead words to serve the living God. Mga kapatid, huwag tayong mahiya to worship the Lord. Katulad ng babae niyo. Hindi siya nahiya. Even though na siya po isang prostitute, hindi siya nahiyang lubapit sa Panginoon. 
Taos puso siyang lumapit sa Diyos. Pinor out na kanyang worship sa Panginoon. Hin- ang, ang Panginoon sa Kristo, he knew that the, the, very, th- the very thoughts of the, the Pharisee, na sila po ay nandun po pa, sila po ay pakitang tao lamang. Pero ang babaeng ito, nakita ng Diyos ang kind of worship na mayroon siya. At tingnan natin ang unlimited provision ng Panginoon. He gave her everything. He gave her everything. He could give the very riches of heaven. Her sins were forgiven. Her faith had, had, had saved her. So while the perfume was costly, it was something worth. It was rare. It was very precious. It could not even come close to what he gave her. It cost him everything to forgive. Sees. He wants to provide for you, for you today, as you worship at the feet of Jesus. Ang babae ito binigay ni Lord lahat sa kanya. He gave her everything he could give, the very riches of heaven. Her sins were forgiven. Her faith had saved her. It cost him everything to forgive her sins. He wants to provide for you and me as we worship at his feet. At tinan po natin, his universal lead in worship from heaven. Ang ating Panginoon, isa po siyang worship leader sa heaven. Makita po natin dito. Now, saan po, mayroon po nga uh, dalawang passages in the gospel. We see that the sinful woman and the woman with the past that Christ uses to illustrate the principles of worship, how they worship the Lord in the story of the woman of the well of Sychar. Jesus says that John chapter 4, verse 22 to 24, you worship, you, not, you know not what, we know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews, but the, the, but the art comet, and now is when the true worshippers shall worship Him in spirit and in truth, shall worship the Father in spirit and truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship. God is spirit, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. So the time is now. The kingdom of God is here. God is seeking a true worshiper. To worship Him in spirit and in truth. Mga kapatid, anong klaseng worship ang ihahandog mo sa Panginoon? Anong klaseng worship ang iyo po na i-offer sa Panginoon Yesu Kristo? Jesus is the object of our worship. And the very heart of our worship is the Lord Jesus. The one who is our strength, the one who is our source. At nandun po is also our great worship leader ang ating Panginoon. Hallelujah. Mga kapatid, all we need to do is to look to the author and the finisher of our faith. Our great high priest who has forever finished the work of mediation between God and man. And now, he's seated Position at the right hand of the Father and He leads His brethren in worship. I believe if we can truly grasp these truths, our worship, our lives will never be the same as we have this kind of worship sa Panginoon. Mga kapatid, tayo po'y mag-offer something that is costly in worshiping the Lord. Katulad ng babae niyo. Very costly. At alam niyo po, ang binalik ni Lord sa kanya is the riches of heaven. Ang forgiveness ng ating Panginoon. As we worship God, mga kapatid, in spirit and in truth, God will grant the desires of our hearts. Kaya mga kapatid, anong klaseng worship ay ihahandong mo sa Panginoon? Katulad ng babae, ito very costly, ang kanyang worship sa Panginoon. And even David says, I will not offer anything that cost me nothing. We will not offer anything 
that cost us nothing. Let's come to the presence of God. Let's worship the Lord's in spirit and in truth. That is the kind of worship that God is seeking. I hope that you can offer a worship that is costly to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Marami pong salamat mga kapatid na wapo ay ito ay nag-inspire po sa puso po natin. One thing na nais ko po ihabilin sa inyo, God is seeking a true worshiper who could worship Him in spirit and in truth. Amen? And we will not offer anything that costs us nothing in worshiping the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. Kapag ginawa po natin ito, the riches of heaven ang ikagrant ni Lord sa atin. Maraming pong salamat. Ito po muli ang inyong pong lingkod, si Daily Inspiration po, na nag-inspire po sa atin muli sa pamagitan po ng mga salita ng Panginoon. God bless po sa bawat sa inyo at nawa po ay ingatan kayo muli ng Panginoon. Babalutin niya kayo na iyong kapangyarihan against the words of the enemy, against all the sicknesses, and against all the, the, the fiery darts of Satan. Thank you so much for listening. God bless po. And have a great day. Have a great Sunday to everyone. Marami pong salamat sa inyo.